When I was down there and it was so cold, the power went out for three days. An, an entire city block went out. And there was no uh, heat, there was no light at night, and uh, it was hard. The Fulbright Program. Since 1946, seeking to increase mutual understanding and support peace relations, it is now the most widely recognized and prestigious international exchange program in the world. My name is Hank Hemsoth, and I'm a professor at Texas State University. I teach jazz, piano, composition, and um, music technology. I'm a Fulbright Senior Specialist. I was in Santiago, Chile during the summer of 2013. At the Pro Jazz Institute, which is the only uh, accredited jazz degree conferring school in all of South America. Well, Santiago, Chile is on the other side of the world, and uh, it's near the Andes, and it's almost all the way to the edge of South America, where the next stop off is Antarctica. If you're in Texas during July and August, it's it's too, you know, it's 102 degrees, 104 degrees. It's winter down there, and it's uh, 10 degrees below freezing. It's a beautiful city, and the people are Wonderful. I remember how being amazed at how many people were in love, holding hands, and walking around very peacefully. In Santiago, Chile, they ain't chilly at all. You pay a senorita a sociable call. Her folks are very friendly. They stick around close from your first how do you do till your last adios. In Santiago, Chile, her uh, What I was down there to help them learn was contemporary jazz, harmony, and playing in uh, either big bands or in combos. So they thirst for an American approach to jazz. So they, uh, they needed to know a lot of things about the bebop vocabulary and rhythms and particularly harmony and how to improvise and very thirsty for all of that kind of knowledge. <laughs> Well, the, the life-changing thing about all of this is that we take for granted that we're Americans, and, and particularly in jazz, there's a sense of freedom in your playing, and th that sensibility is somewhat unknown down there. So I spent a lot of my time showing people that it was okay to do things. It's okay to have your own website and put your pictures and put your music on there and be presented to the world, you know, be a professional musician. One thing I found interesting is there's not a lot of books that they can work with that are in Spanish. So we tried to do a lot of translating uh, some jazz texts and providing examples for them. I had the opportunity to play with lots of students, put on uh, citywide concerts that were open to the public. Um, my colleague Russell Haight came down and we performed. So it was, it was a, a great deal. Texas State has set up a partnership with that Pro Jazz Institute so that uh, students here can go down there and get credit and study down there during the summer. And I'll be helping those people plan to take e entrance exams to get up here. I've been to Korea, I've been to Normandy, I've 
I was asked to be an Army trainer at the United States Army Band in Virginia, as well as the Air Force Band. And while I was there uh, for a couple of weeks, training, teaching jazz, talking about things, they invited me to meet the general who happened to be an advisor to the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And I started talking to him, and he said, this is so great. He said, this was one of the most important ways to spread democracy across the world and was really eager to ha talk to me about that. And he said that's something they talk about all the time, too. So that was an, uh, enlightening to me that this military man was totally involved in that and the benefit and mission of the Fulbright. I think he played trombone in high school also. That's why he loved music so much. People love jazz in Europe and all over the world, as well as rock or whatever, the American culture in music. It's a privilege to be chosen to go do that and to represent America and to be a part of the State Department. Great to go down there and spread American music in, in the sense of, of jazz to people that really want to know it and are thirsty for the knowledge. The Fulbright Program. Here are Fulbright scholars and their stories at Fulbright On.